Okay, so in this video, I'm going to start using the chord sequencer. And what I need to do first is turn off these buttons and I'm going to head to pattern and we'll notice we are in pattern 1.1. So I'm going to move that to pattern 3.1, which is a nice blank space. Make sure I'm in the right spot. And then I need to come out of pattern again. Because if I stay in pattern and start trying to change things, it's just going to move around the different patterns. So let's get out of the pattern menu. And now I can see I've got a nice set of blank eight spaces in the chord sequencer. These are the eight steps of the chord sequencer. So the first job is to choose the first step. I activate that, it starts flashing, and you can see ST01 in the top left-hand corner in the window telling me that we are in step one. It's flashing because anytime anything flashes on these devices, it basically means it's waiting for you to do something or to get out of what you're doing. So it's waiting for me to put in some notes. I'm going to turn off the variation for now and just start clean here. I don't have chord on because I'm going to choose my notes and I'm just going to start with a little C major chord, C, E, G. But now I'm going to turn on the variation and I'm going to choose that pattern 1.4 that I like. And that's now in, that's there, that's done. Then I can go to two and choose the notes I want here. So I've got the variation on already. I'm gonna leave that on and choose my notes. Number three, let's keep going up and I'll turn that variation on. I'll just check that it's 1.4, it is. Number four, and uh, let's just keep going up in these little arpeggios and turn the variation on. So you notice each time I have to check, I've got my notes in and I turn on the variation. I like to just check that I've got it. Now I'm going to just audition this now and see what I've got. So I'm going to press the flashing number four, because like I said, it's, it's telling me you're still working in number four. So finish or do something. So I'm going to finish and we're out. And we can see now there are four chords that are allocated four steps that are allocated with chords. Now I can press play. I like that. That's sounding pretty good. I'm going to keep going and finish off the eight steps and let's see what happens. I might just do a bit of a repeat of what I had and the variation variation. Oops, I've got to go. I'm still in six. So I've got to go to seven. Then I can change the notes. And finally, number eight. I might just do something slightly different for number eight. Ooh, I've got to put the variation on. Did I have the variation for seven? Let's check. No. So I need to put that one on. Now I can actually go through and just check the variation in all of them. One, yes, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. I've got the variation in all of them. So let's see what it sounds like.